Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tishan here. And I am coming to you with a haul from Hayden Rowe. This haul has been a long time coming. Um, I had ordered this package in December. It shipped out, however, with everything that was going on, it just kept saying that it was in transit. So I had reached out to Christina, who is the owner, and, um, you know, she basically told me, you know, let me know if there's anything I can do at this point. It, your package may be lost. However, what I did was I opened up a claim with the post office. And, of course, they originally responded with the cookie cutter response that, you know, because of the pandemic and things like that, you know, we're sorry for the delays, but we're doing our best to get your package to you. Well, that just didn't work for me. So I called the post office again, spoke to an actual person they basically was like, oh, no, this needs to be investigated further. So what they did was they escalated my claim to the Consumer Affairs Department. Once they did that, they told me, they said, you know, here's the direct number to them. So if you haven't, you know, heard from them, you can contact them directly. Um, fortunately, I did not have to um, contact them they were able to resolve everything and I finally got my package on February 20th. So I was very excited to say the least. Um, I was doing a happy dance, you know, cartwheels on the inside because I'm too old to be doing cartwheels in real life. But I was very, very excited because I had really wanted, I'm sorry guys, someone's just slammed the door out there, um, outside. Um, so sorry if you heard that loud, um, uh, thump that was someone slamming a door. Um, so I was very excited to get this package and I was just, you know, um, very happy that the post office was able to locate it. And, um, you know, hopefully if you guys are going through the same thing with lost packages, you know, I suggest trying the same thing and um, see what happens for you. In most cases, some people have been, you know, reaching out and getting positive results. So hopefully um, it will work for you if you're having issues with pro um, packages being delayed, staying in transit, not moving, not updating or anything like that. So, um, so before we get into the actual order, I just wanna give you a little bit about um, Hayden Row Candle Company. And um, basically, Hayden Row Candle Company is a handcrafted candle and wax company owned and operated by Christina DeCastro. Each Hayden Row candle is individually hand poured in small batches, then packaged and shipped from our candle studio west of Boston. We use the finest non toxic ingredients and take pride in creating unique scented wax and candles that will enhance the lives of our customers. Um, it says, please note that our candle studio is no longer located in a pet-friendly home. Our maker does still live there. While the pets play no part in the in the manufacture or shipping of our product, they were just they were just terrible at it <laughs> and banned from our candle studio. Customers with severe allergies should be aware of possible cross contamination. So I like that they put that little note there. Um, most people are animal owners. So I like that they do, and you know, some people do have allergies. So I do like that they put that disclaimer um, on the About Us tab on the website. Um, so my order came with an invoice, which I do appreciate. And it also came with a business card. So it says scented wax, candles, bath and body, Hayden Row candle, and then there is the website on the back. It says, thank you for your order. Any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to hear from you, Christina Welton. And then it's her um, email address if you, you know, need to reach out to her for any reason. And then she also includes a bigger card and it says Hayden Row Company, Candle Company. Thank you so much for your order. We hope that you enjoy your selections, happy melting, Christina. And then it says simple design, extravagant fragrance. So that's also appreciated, a little note included. And then last, she also includes this sticker. And I like this quote, yes, you can. So a lot of times we often tell ourselves or tell others, no, we can't do it. But, you know, adopt the yes, you can attitude and, you know, you 
you will be surprised how far it can go or take you. So I really appreciate this quote. Yes, you can. This will go on my loaf that I did order. So um, this will get a good uh, use for that sticker. Like I said, there is an invoice involved. I'm not going to show that because it does have my personal information on there. But um, you do get a detailed um, invoice, like I said, which is very much appreciated. So let's get into the wax. Um, so the first one, or the first thing we're going to go over is the samples. So... Um, this one is lemon wood and the notes on this is lemon, lemon leaves and warm woods. And this, I love these samples. <laughs> They're so cute. They are in the shape, if this will focus, of a little ducky. So I like that. And yes, this is very lemony. Warm. Oh, I love that lemon. Not cleaner lemon. So don't think of it as a cleaner lemon that you clean your floors with or clean, you know, wipe down with. But this is, um, to me, it's, like you cut open a lemon. This is really nice. I like this. I can't wait to melt that. I think I might melt this a little bit later on today. We'll see. The good thing about this package being so delayed is that all of my items are perfectly cured. So I don't have to wait. So that was the positive that I took away. Um... Of, you know took away from this situation this one is exhale and I will I did get this in a souffle so I'll go over the notes once I get to that but um, once again it is come on focus it's in a little ducky so pretty I like um I like when wax have, you know, different cute shapes. So I will go over the scent notes as well when I get to that particular souffle. I also got Africa. And once again, it's in um, a ducky. Now this one, it was so funny. Um, because I had smelled this prior and I was like, this smells familiar. What am I smelling? And not in a negative way. It kind of took me back to when I was a little kid. So to me, this smells like hair grease and, but in a good way. Um, I remember my mom doing my hair, you know, she would have the um, the water and she would put water in my hair and she would put the hair grease in my hair and my curls were popped because I have naturally curly hair. I didn't appreciate those curls growing up. So as I got older, I decided to perm my hair straight, which was a big mistake because I should have embraced my curls. My mom tried to tell me, you know, you have beautiful hair. You don't need to do that, but I didn't want to listen. You know, sometimes when you're, a, you know, younger, a kid, you think you know everything. You think you know what's best for you. And um, when it came to my hair, I thought I knew what was best. I learned the hard way. Um, so it just reminded me of when I'm, you know, when my mom was doing my hair and I'm sitting on the floor and, you know, she's parting my hair and putting the grease on my scalp and massaging it. And this reminds me. At first, me and my husband said Blue Magic hair grease, but the more I smell this, I kind of compare this to the Sulfur 8 grease, the one in the yellow container. And the reason why I think it smells um, some, I think it's because of the smoke note that's in this. So this has exotic woods, dry musk, smoke, and it says it's an incense type of scent. So I think the smoke it's what's giving me that scent memory from
from when my mom used to do, do my hair. And it, it just put a smile on my face. So I'm like, oh my God, I remember sitting and my mom used to do my hair and she would put movies on while she was doing my hair. So I would be, you know, wouldn't be um, squirming or anything like that. I would be focused on what was on the TV so that she can do my hair and style it however she wanted to style it for the week. So this was a pleasant scent memory for this. So I cannot wait to melt this. Um, and it, it just, it's taking me back to when I was a little girl. So I do appreciate this scent very much. So other people might not so much, but I will definitely um, be re, you know, if this, you know, comes around again, this will be something that I would, you know, purchase in a souffle or a loaf. Um, but this was a, a wonderful scent memory for me. Now we are going to go over the souffles. And her souffles are $5.75 a piece, in case you were wondering. And this one is sea salt. Um, and this is salt with notes of sea air, light florals, and musk. And I got this on the recommendation of Danny from Danny Lives Life. Um, she talks about this scent a lot. So I was like, you know what? Danny hasn't steered me wrong so far with any of the scents that she talks about on her channel. I will link her channel below. Go check her out. She is a sweetheart. Um, so, you know, so far, so good with the scent recommendations based on her reviews and her haul videos. So I decided to also try one, this one as well. And this is nice. The floral is very light, it's not heavy. Um, sometimes florals can be a bit much for me. So I have to be careful um, when it comes to florals in general, be it perfumes, lotions, um, wax. Um, I do have allergies that I pretty much have controlled as I've gotten older, but sometimes certain things can trigger me and set me off. But the floral in this is very, very nice. I get that musk, is like a soft musk. And I get that saltiness, um, the sea air. This is really nice. I like this. So, and this is what it looks like. It's gray color, light gray. So, this one is nice. I think I need this one in a loaf. Then I got Balance and Glow. And I received this one. I had ordered Christina's Ready Bits. Again, based off of uh, one of Danny's reviews. So I ordered the Ready Bits and I believe it was for the, it was for the spa um, collection that she had did. So um, I was able to experience this scent and I really liked it. So I, this was something that I was like, I definitely want to order this again. And this has honeysuckle, citrus, lavender, echinacea, vanilla, and honeycomb. Oh, yeah, this is nice. It's I love it. It's like, um, it's relaxing. You get that honey from the honeysuckle and the honeycomb, the citrus. I don't get lavender, but that's okay. It could come out on warm. And I get that vanilla. Now, echinacea, I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to smell like. I mean, I've had echinacea tea, but... Um, I know it has wonderful health benefits in terms of like drinking it, but um, I guess you can say maybe it's giving it a little bit of a light floral. Um, I would have to look up that echinacea, but this one smells really good. I enjoy this. Um, yeah, this one is really nice. I'm not gonna take all of these out of the tin because you pretty much get the idea you know this one's just in a different color but is in a souffle pan 
which um, I like. And with the souffle pan, um, this is something, you know, you would get if you were not ready to commit to a full loaf. Um, this is kind of like your try, try it and see, you know, how you feel about the scent. You get enough wax to be able to melt multiple times to see if you truly are, you know, in love with that scent or not. This is XL, and also this was part of the ready bits that I had received or purchased. And this has sea salt, lemon, cedar, eucalyptus, cotton, teak, and vanilla. And I did enjoy this one, so I knew I was, you know, getting this, um, purchasing this. So, and right away, as soon as I open up the bag, I can smell this. This is really nice. Don't be afraid of the eucalyptus. It's not strong. It's very subtle, very soft, but it's very pretty. You get the cedar. I get the lemon. Touch of cotton in the back. The teak is giving it like a a, um, a nice woodsy, woodsy tone. And then the saltiness from the sea salt. Um, it's not overpowering though, but it, it blends beautifully. Um, if you notice in, you know, cooking recipes, even in some, uh, bake, baking recipes, it calls for salt. It kind of enhances, um, the flavor. So the sea salt in this is like enhancing the other oils in this. This one is really good. This one is also loaf, loaf worthy as well. I will be making a list right now. I'm kind of on a wax band for myself. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> I have fallen into the rabbit hole of, um, I have a lot of wax. I just came into the uh, vendor community last October, and you guys will not believe how much wax I have um, accumulated since then. So, yeah, I need to start mel melting through my stash and, um, you know, kind of making room for stuff that is still on the way. So, right now, I'm trying to, you know... Rain it in just a little bit. Uh, my husband is so over me, but he does enjoy the wax too. So, you know, he enjoys it, but sometimes he'd be looking at me with the side eye like, yeah, mm -hmm. I see you. I see you. More wax. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. <laughs> and this one is lavender. Oh, come on, focus. Lavender sugar. And this is sweet lavender blended with pink sugar. So, two of my favorite blends. I enjoy pink sugar very much. And I like sweet lavender. I like a herbal lavender too, but I think sweet lavender is more so my favorite when it comes to lavender. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, melt this in my daughter's room tonight. I've been melting lavender blends a lot lately in her room to kind of, you know... Relax her, get her, you know, wind down for the evening. This smells really good. And this, I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of looks like it's a little bit ombre. It's very pretty and it smells really good. Um, that pink sugar is, you know, feminine. It's, um... I like this. Like, if this was in body care, I definitely would get the body care. Or like a um, body oil. So, ouch. Sorry, guys. I just hit my hand on the table. And then I got Stress Less, and this was also in my Ready Bits um, order that came. So I knew, you know, I already knew what this one smelled like. And I was like, I am going to get some more of that. It says Powdery Aquatic Fragrance with Notes of Peony, Jasmine, Orchid, and Musk. And when it comes to Jasmine, um, if the Jasmine is not too heavy or overpowering, I can definitely do it. Um, if it's too overpowering, I can't do it because it, 
it basically sets my allergies off. So it's not like I don't enjoy it, but if it's too strong for me, I just can't do it. And this I feel like is perfect. I've smelled another um, blend that I had from another vendor and as beautiful as it is, it's, it's just too much for me. It, it set my allergies off. Like I was runny, I was sneezy, um, my eyes were watering and I was like, no, but I really enjoy you, but I can't do it because it was just no good for my um, allergies, unfortunately. So that one will be passed along to someone else. So it will go to good use. But this one is nice. I like this one. I get the aquatic like um like water. Oh, this smells so good. I get the powder. I feel like I'm getting a peony first. Or next, not first, but overall, this is a beautiful blend. Very beautiful. And this looks like the water. Very pretty. This um, would also be something that I would purchase in the future in a loaf. And then next, now this was something I was like, you know what, let me just try it. Um, I am being um, more open to different things and certain scents is something that I'm being open to. This is Bookworm and um, <clears throat> this one is the scent of old books, teak, cedar, leather, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. Oh, this is nice. Oh, God. This. <laughs> I smell like I'm in the uh, library. <laughs> Growing up, we used to go to the big free library downtown. It's huge. And as soon as you walk in, like this scent gives me that smell of when you would walk into the, the library and you get a whiff of the books that's in the library. Oh, this is good. I like this. The leather is not too um, heavy, so don't be afraid of the leather if you are afraid of leather scents. This is perfect. I do have a blend where the leather is a little bit heavier, um, so I can tell the difference in this one. It's, it's very um, soft, subtle. It's not overpowering. This is a good blend. So. If you want to try a leather scent, I recommend trying this one. The sandalwood. This is like warm, um, earthy. Yeah, I like this one. I'm definitely going to get this one again. Um, this is really good. And this is what this one looks like. Like a light teal color. So, and last but not least, <clears throat> this scent I had never smelled before, and um, I did a different video with a different vendor where um, I had explained about this blend, um, kind of, sort of. So, um, I don't mention other vendors in my videos, but I did kind of mention my situation. So, I had... You know, because I didn't know which way it was going to go with this order, I said, you know what? I really was interested in the scent notes. So I had um, another vendor was doing customs and I said, oh, well, let me play around with those, you know, with that and uh, do, you know, kind of do my own blend. So to try to kind of recreate this scent. Um, when I got that blend, it smells amazing, but I also smelled this one as well. They're two totally different blends. So even though they have similar notes, they are completely different, completely opposite. And I'm so happy because 
I have this one that came in and I'm like, oh, I can appreciate this scent. Um, you know, as far as um, what this is, how this is blended in the ratios. And I can appreciate the custom that I did um, based on those scent notes and those scent oils. So those scent oils are a little bit um, different, but it gives a different feel for my custom. But I'm happy with both of them nonetheless. So this one, as you can see, it came wrapped in bubble wrap to protect it, which is great. Because this traveled, you know, the world and who knows where it was sitting. Um, I have been fortunate enough to have packages that were just saying in transit, saying in transit. And when they got to me, they were intact. I know some people received certain packages and some of their wax was like completely melted. Um, which was very, very bizarre. Um... So I am fortunate enough to have had packages that were, you know, severely delayed, but came in perfect condition. So I'm thankful for that. So this blend is coconut lemongrass. And this is sweet young coconut with fresh green lemongrass and bergamot. Um, so and this blend is beautiful. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. Um, and I got this <laughs> once again. Shout out to Danny from Danny Lives Life based on her recommendation. And she kind of described this as, you know, um, like with Thai food, she made, you know, kind of the correlation with Thai food. And I've, I love Thai food, and I know that a lot of um, Thai cuisine, they use lemongrass. So um, when we were going to work in the building, there was um, a place we used to go to, and we used to get um, Thai food. And there was a, a dish that I used to get. I can't remember the name of it, but it was, you know, um, it, it had lemongrass in it, coconut, and it was very delicious. And smelling this reminds me of that dish that I used to get. Ah, this smells so good. It's fresh. You get that sweetness from the coconut, the lemon from the lemongrass. Um, this, this blend is beautiful. The lemongrass is um, at the front of this. So when I smell this, I get the lemongrass first. Um, and then I get the coconut in the, in the uh, back end. Whereas my custom that I did is very coconut forward and my lemongrass um, is in the back. So it's reversed. So I can appreciate both of them because they have different qualities. And the one that I created also have a couple of extra things added into it. Whereas, um, you know, this one does have some extra stuff in it, but it's different. It's completely different when you look at the scent notes and when you smell them. So I'm so glad that they, you know, that I was able to create that one. Um, like I said, I was very positive that my package was, you know, going to show up, but then I was like, well, on the off chance that it doesn't. Um, and I know a lot of times when I would check the website, this would be sold out. So I, you know, that showed me that this is a very popular blend. So I was like, okay, you know, I don't know when this will come back around. Cause when, it was discovered that my package was delayed. I went to the website and this was sold out because I was like, well, maybe I can order this stuff again and just place a second order. But a lot of these scents were sold out at the time. So um, I basically was kind of proactive with like, okay, I really want to try this particular blend. And um, so that's why that custom that I created came about. Um, because like I said, I really wasn't sure what was going to happen, even though I was very positive, like, no, it's going to come. Just be patient. Just be patient. I have the patience of Job's Job most days. Um, sometimes, you know, the patience is a little short, but most days I have great patience. I'm like my mom in that way. Um, but, um, you know, I'm very happy that this did show up because now I get to enjoy this blend. Ah. Oh. You get like that creaminess from the coconut. This is really good. So this is what this looks like. I may do a chopping video tomorrow. I will keep you guys posted. But um, 
This is beautiful. Beautiful. I will definitely get this again. <clears throat> Thank you, Danny, for your recommendations. You are always on point. I have not um, had a scent that you recommended that I did not love. I feel like we kind of have the same similar um, taste when it comes to certain scents and blends. So thank you so much for that. And thank you so much, Christina, um, for just, you know, reaching out and offering to help and, and provide any assistance when it came to my order being missing. Um, I do appreciate that. And um, we kept in communication, you know, in terms of my package. So that was just great. It wasn't like I emailed her, she emailed me back, and that was it. Like, we spoke on several occasions. So that just, you know, kind of led to the customer service that I received. And, you know, it wasn't her fault. She apologized, and she was like, I'm so sorry that this happened. And it was like, it was not your fault. You know, you did nothing wrong. You shipped the package out on time. And, you know, it just something that happened, you know, with all the things going on with the holidays, you know, it was like double duty in terms of stuff being delayed, you know, with the holidays, you know, stuff are delayed anyway. But then with the pandemic, it just made things even worse. So, you know, um, I do appreciate that you were ap apologetic, but this was not your fault. You know, you had no control over that. You did what you needed to do on time, which, you know, so I do appreciate it, but I also appreciate you know, um, the communication that we had in terms of this order. So that is it for my uh, Hayden Row um, haul. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. And I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Have a good one.